Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Professor Dr. Mohan Sumar Kumbar. Uh, viewers, today we will talk our guest of honor, Professor Dr. Fatima Mari Sahib, Vice Chancellor of the Agriculture University, Tanojam. Dr. Sahib, first of all, I congratulate you and your dedicated team for organizing a wonderful first international conference on plant production sciences at Sindh Agriculture University Tanojam under your uh, able and leadership dynamic. So, sir, how do you feel about this conference? Thank you very much. Uh, I think it was a good conference and we had participants uh, from a number of countries and we had participants from a number of universities within Pakistan. And some of the uh, participants, they were uh, participated in the conference uh, virtually and uh, some of the, uh, many of the uh, participants, they came physically. And uh, the idea of having the, con the conference on plant protection sciences was that plant protection over the time has become a major challenge uh, because protecting the plant and protecting human health as well is one of the major challenges of the current times. Uh, therefore, the knowledge which is available globally, the knowledge which is available uh, domestically within Pakistan, that was to be coordinated uh, so that we know that uh, know about the issues and then we try to solve those problems. So that was the first idea to have this international conference for first time on plant uh, protection sciences. And the second objective of this conference was that we have a number of students, uh, especially the postgraduate students. Uh, they do design their research uh, in their masters and PhDs. So they need to know about the issues and the updated knowledge in the field so that they could plan their research accordingly. And the third objective of this conference that was very important is that students who are undergraduate students, but they should know about the current developments in the field of plant protection science. So I think this, this was the objective and we are thankful to all those international national participants. Uh, we received a huge response. So you could see that there were uh, plenary sessions uh, there were uh, then six concurrent se sessions in two phases, in two different timings. So as a total, more than 30 sessions were held during these uh, two days and more than 200 papers were presented uh, during, uh, during the conference and the poster presentations were in addition. Uh, sir, uh, as you have mentioned that uh, a global community, scientists, experts, students, research interacted and uh, shared their knowledge with the local and international level. Uh, what would be the impact of this conference on crop production, crop protection and overall agriculture economy of Pakistan? I think the first idea is to, uh, to gather the global knowledge. And so that is the impact that at least the updated knowledge on the subject which is available globally or domestically has been gathered together uh, for the students, researchers and participants. So that is the first object. Second, that some of the actions out of this conference will be of immediate nature. So regarding the impact on the society, uh, we all know that these days banana wilt is one of the major issues. And during the conference, there was a session, there was an expert from FAO, and uh, Thailand, the, he, he spoke about uh, wilt. And, uh, and then there, there were other sessions as well. So I'm sure that this knowledge will immediately benefit banana growers if this is a viral disease or there, this is another type of disease because of, uh, because of fungus or because of any other reason. So I think that some of the uh, recommendations or some of the, uh, the conference presentations will uh, try to resolve our current issues uh, immediately, but some of the conference proceedings will contribute uh, towards the knowledge which at, uh, means in a longer duration uh, will, should be able to resolve our issues. So I think th these are two, uh, th this is both ways. So it is immediate and it is medium term is, is long term as well. Dr. Sahib, as you have mentioned that uh, the proceedings and uh, the conference recommendations were presented uh, in the conference, do you believe that these recommendations will support the overall agriculture economy of Pakistan and to cope the challenges of the plant protections in the country? 
you see that we, we, we have seen uh, progress in agriculture. And if you see crop yields 20 years ago, the crop yields of today are higher than the crop yields of 20 years ago. And if you see disease control, be it in uh, human, be it in animals, be it in plants, if you see the level of knowledge and uh, level of scientific uh, uh, invention or innovation, 20 years ago, the current level of knowledge and current level of solution is better than uh, the previous knowledge and previous uh, uh, level of solutions. Therefore, conference uh, in long run definitely this, the knowledge which has been generated <coughs> will create an impact. Second thing is that we have already consolidated all these recommendations and we have written action points under all those recommendations. And these recommendations will have policy implications. So we'll be sharing those recommendations uh, with the government departments, with the international stakeholders and UN agencies. And similarly, some of the recommendations are related to further research, uh, additional research. And those recommendations will uh, have been shared with the scientific community and scientific community will benefit designing their future research from these recommendations. So there will be larger impact on the society through these recommendations. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sir. <coughs> so, uh, uh, to design the future strategy through the, uh, through the recommendations, uh, would you believe that this conference, uh, uh, would you believe that this conference build the future collaboration between the academ academicians, scientists, researchers, <coughs> and global community up? I think one of the objectives of this conference was uh, to have a network of the, uh, of the experts working on the subject across the globe and within Pakistan. And you could see from the level of participation, uh, we, we somewhat uh, had success on it. There are a number of participants internationally, and we are soon going to sign uh, MOU with a Malaysian university. And I think there was an interest from FAO, FAO, country rep FAO representative even announced that they will be working very closely with the scientific community which is working on various research area, uh, research topics within Tandojam and especially in agriculture university and they will closely work with the students. So I think they, we, 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 we have found a lot of opportunity and this conference has created uh, a greater interest uh, among different uh, groups and individuals and that in long run will help us to have that network available to the students, teachers and researchers of this university. That's all. Uh, I think that you have shared uh, words of wisdom to our audience. But my last question will be, what is your key message for faculty members, for the students, for researchers, and scientists and the farmers community of the Pakistan? I think in the university we have, uh, by and large, we have prioritized five different areas. Uh, one is that we want to have uh, improvements in seed. And the second area is uh, breed improvement to improve the agriculture, produ uh, the livestock productivity, animal uh, productivity in terms of meat and milk. And the third area is we want to uh, bring more investments in agriculture so that uh, because agriculture is created thirsty so we, we want to attract uh, the investment towards the agriculture and fourth area is uh, precision agriculture and use of technol technology in agriculture and uh, then the last area is the fifth area is value addition and post harvest management uh, packaging export and other things so that uh, farmers receive better prices i think this conference is has a uh, cross-cutting value uh, in and observed greater interest among the students and I have seen that the students uh, were present in the conference room till close of the conference and hall was filled with the students and they were all regist registered participants so that was interest and faculty members were also interested today we uh, gave certificates of appreciation to those who received research projects and it was a huge number it's a big number of faculty members who have already received uh, various research projects from uh, different donors and they are working on different topics. So I think conference has created uh, an interest towards research uh, among the students, uh, among faculty members and among uh, the researchers of this university and similarly other sister organizations which are present uh, uh, on the location of Tundu Thank you, but uh, I have a last question that the 
national and uh, international organizations, public and private companies, students, university, research, extension, and other organizations displayed their products during the exhibitions. What are the, your views for technology transfer? I think it was, great, it was great exhibition. And uh, we had limited number of stalls and interest was much higher. So th there, were, there were organizations uh, which could not find place to have their stalls in the exhibition. And I have seen, uh, I, vis I personally visited all those stalls twice, on first day and second day both. And uh, the stalls which were organized by our students and our departments, uh, they were really impressive and they were very good and uh, they impressed me. Similarly, the stalls which were organized by agriculture research, uh, agriculture extension, and other departments, they, they also um, uh, demonstrated their, their research and technology available to them. There were private sector stalls, there were book stalls, there were uh, stalls by students who were uh, doing their online businesses on various cultural aspects and other things. So there was great interest uh, on these stalls. Maybe next year we will have more time to have this uh, uh, spring festivity uh, where these stalls would continue at least for a week time and uh, we give uh, an opportunity to the students and uh, others uh, from the area uh, to, to show, uh, to demonstrate uh, their products and to promote their products. So that uh, I think I'm, I'm very happy that there are a good number of stalls. Thank you Dr. Saab for your words of wisdom and sharing uh, valuable information with our audience, God bless you all, and we hope that this university would be a top-ranked university in the country. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.